What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here. These are the best influencer cars of SEMA 2022. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This took a lot of work and a lot of time to go through the whole show once again to find these cars. But let me know which one is your favorite, who are you most excited to see in this video, and let me know if I missed any in the comment section below. Enjoy! Starting off our influencer cars of SEMA, we have Chris Borges with his Street Hunter BRZ. This thing looks amazing. It was super crazy to see the color that he picked out being this very nice light purple, sporting a set of Workmeisters, but look at all that carbon, the hood, the canards and the front lip tie this build in very, very nicely. On the side, we of course have the Street Hunter USA banner, along with a couple of his logos on there that just they look so good. Purple and white is a great color combination, and I love seeing this car out. Congratulations to Chris for his SEMA debut. Can't wait to see what he brings next year. Next up, this car needs no introduction. It's none other than the DDE SVJ. Daily Driven Exotics had two cars out here this year, one of which being the SVJ, and the other you'll see just in a couple minutes. But man, seeing this SVJ for the first time in person was unreal. They were sporting a set of AL13 wheels, I believe, unlike the five spokes that they had on this car before. But the color combination, traffic cone orange, white, black, and their logos everywhere, can't miss this car. And I loved getting to see it in person for the first time. Speaking of seeing cars for the first time, Josh Laurent in his AMG GTS. This thing has an insane wrap on it, sporting a sort of lightning bolt design with blue, gray, and black. It has stickers everywhere and just funny things written all around. You can't miss this thing. It's right where my car was parked last year, so super cool to see new creators on the rise coming out to SEMA, sporting a set of Rohana wheels. So he's in the Rohana family and a member of the Big Wang Gang. This car is super cool to see. And he also has one other car here this year that we'll get to see in a little bit. But that is Josh Laurent's AMG GTS. Coming up next, we have a very, very interesting take on a Lamborghini Huracan. Brought to you by none other than B is for Build. And man, this thing is crazy. They no longer have the V10 that is normally found in this car. Behind your head, there is a screaming twin turbo V8 engine that just looks like an absolute Mad Max type vehicle. I wasn't expecting to see this one out there and I cannot wait to see it drive out in the parade tomorrow. But geez, if you guys haven't seen that video, by the time this video comes up, you're gonna wanna watch that one because this is gonna be an insane thing to see moving. But you know, what do you expect? B is for build, always bringing out the best things, making things that nobody would think would be possible come to life. And I think everybody enjoyed seeing it as well. And parked next to their Huracan, we have another vehicle from B is for build. Um, I honestly have no idea what this one is. It looks like a sort of hexagonal Formula One car. So, if any of you are B is for Bill super fans out there, let me know what this is and uh, I will thank you very, very much. It looks very interesting, looks hand built, and looks very, very tight in that cockpit. So, let me know what it is if you guys know. The next influencer car we're going to take a look at is none other than TJ Hunt's Veilside RX-7. This looks straight out of Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, and it's not something you get to see a lot of. There were a handful of RX-7s there, but none were Veilside kits like this one was. Painted in a beautiful British racing green, of course, TJ Hunt stole the show center stage at SEMA this year, making Han proud, bringing out his Veilside RX-7 and showing the world. 
Coming back with a familiar face from the video, we got DDE's other car, the 720 GTR, or so they call it. This one is also sporting a traffic cone orange and gray design, kind of like the Lark livery from the F1 GTR. But this also stole the show at the Gintani booth. Fresh engine in, I believe a subscriber said it's over 1,300 horsepower, and I believe it, man. This car was crazy to see in person, and actually looked really, really good. Sporting a huge wing, the center exhaust, this thing is a spectacle to see, and a lot of people were loving it. Thumbs up to DDE for this one. Now this one was a bucket list car for me to see. Whistling Diesel's take on the General Lee. Also sporting a freshly cracked windshield. You do not see cars like this at all at SEMA. Everyone is freshly polished, not a rock chip in sight, and this man brought the General Lee Charger RT with engine popping out of the hood, windshield shattered, and tire marks all over the back end of this car and i could not be happier this dude is absolutely insane and i love every second of it huge shout out to whistling diesel for letting them bring this thing out for the world to see it was definitely one of my top favorite cars at sema 2022. circling back around to another tj hunt build we have his brand new street hunter brz much like Chris Borges at the beginning of this video, but this one has the big wing option, along with a couple extra canards, but man oh man, seeing this car be stock and him have this vision of the wide body kit and it all coming together being revealed at SEMA this year was very, very cool to see. I got to stand front row and see them pull the covers off this thing for the world debut. And uh, I think this is another bucket list car for me. I previously had a Gen 1 FRS, and this makes me want to go Gen 2. So huge shout out to TJ Hunt for not one, but two Street Hunter reveals. His next one being this one, his new Nissan Z. This is the street version of his wide body kit. Also, with hidden hardware sitting on a fresh set of white five spoke HREs. These wheels have been tickling my fancy lately and I think I want to put them on the Supra. But man oh man, two car reveals at once from Street Hunter USA, the Nissan Z and the BRZ. Very, very cool to see. Hey, that rhymed. For these next few, I'm going to go rapid fire, but it was cool to see Stradman's Aventador Coupe getting a fresh wrap on it. Uh, if he hasn't revealed it already, it's going to be lime green. Then we have, I believe, Edmund Mondi's F40 that was wrapped in a Nozatec Celestial Unicorn. It is now bright bubblegum pink. Very interesting choice there. Then we also have Alex Choi's Huracan. In a fresh new Inoza Tech wrap, his was also in the unicorn color, but now it is in a navy blue. Looks pretty good. Outside, I wasn't expecting to see Chris Fix signing some autographs for the fans and working on his BMW, replacing a couple headlights and other things that may have broke during the day because I'm pretty sure he was drifting it for everyone to see. One of the last influencer cars we got to see out at SEMA 2022 was none other than Throttle's EV-swapped Nissan 370Z widebody. Yep, this thing is pretty crazy. I have not seen anybody else on YouTube do an EV-swap, but it's sporting a fresh new wrap with nice chrome graphics. And under the hood, I guess you can say, we have a big battery. So pretty cool to see this out and about. It looked really well built and uh, looks better than a lot of other 370Z builds I've seen, I dare say. 
So huge shout out to Throttle on that build. And ending the influencer cars that I could find at SEMA 2022 was none other than Amelia Hartford's C8 Corvette. This thing looked very good. Of course, seeing it in all the videos, there's not much cosmetically done, but it does have a very, very crazy twin turbo system. And uh, I'm sure we'll see that on the parade out tomorrow as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy all of the influencer cars at SEMA this year. I know I missed a couple, but the place was so big that I feel like it was impossible to see everything. So if I did miss something, please let me know. And if you did like the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.